All right, hey there. I just wanted to do a little thing on what the difference between real vitamin C and ascorbic acid is. There seems to be a lot of confusion. In fact, I was confused for the longest time. So why should you be aware of ascorbic acid, which is literally synthetic vitamin C, right? So vitamin C is a water-soluble vitamin, meaning that your body doesn't store it. You have to get what you need from food, including citrus fruits, broccoli, and you know stuff like tomatoes. So when people are not getting enough vitamin C in their diets, they often take supplements, right? They go down the aisle, look at vitamin C supplements. Nearly all vitamin C supplements on the market are made from ascorbic acid, as you see on some of the labels here. And so many juices and fruit products are loaded up with this stuff, this ascorbic acid, and even many organic health food store versions. You know, it seems like, uh, you know, if a product is labeled high in vitamin C, then anybody's going to buy it. Well, you know, there's a lot of products on the market where just because it's labeled something, people are going to buy it. So why should we, um, why do we even need vitamin C, right? So according to a study at the University of Maryland Medical Center, you know, they say that you need vitamin C for the growth and repair of tissues in all parts of our body. So vitamin C helps the body make collagen. Uh, it's an important protein used to make skin, which is, you know, I like skin. Uh, cartilage, tendons, ligaments, and blood vessels, right? So vitamin C is necessary for healing wounds also and for repairing and maintaining bones and teeth. Also helps the body absorb iron. So super, super important. Vitamin C is an antioxidant along with vitamin E, beta carotene, and many other plant-based nutrients. Antioxidants block some of the damage caused by free radicals, substances that damage DNA. And uh, the buildup of free radicals over time may, it may contribute to the aging process and the development of health conditions like cancer, heart disease, arthritis, you know, and the list goes on. So why getting vitamin C through ascorbic acid is a problem. So according to an article in the Healthy Home Economist, ascorbic acid is actually synthetic vitamin C. Um, I heard one person explain it as it's actually the wrapper around the vitamin C molecule. And when you take just ascorbic acid, it actually leaches the real vitamin C from our bodies. So, um, you know, vitamin C is usually comes from, you know, or synthetic comes from like GMO corn. And there's a growing body of evidence that uh, those consuming high doses of ascorbic acid should really have a lot of reason to worry, you know, probably for the, the former mentioned stuff. And just so you guys know, you know, I'm not a doctor. Um, I'm a guy who's just been studying health and nutrition for a long time. And there's just a lot of things that I think a lot of people need to know about or at least be aware about so they can do their own research. So I encourage you to do your own research on the subject and find out what's best for you. And so um, there is a interesting thing that in the in the winter of 2009 edition of Wise Traditions, um, they cite three studies which gave, you know, a pretty good pause about large doses of vitamin C. The first study uh, from the June 15, 2001 issue of Science that showed that synthetic vitamin C may contribute to the formation of genotoxins that can lead to cancer. A second study presented to the American Heart Association showed a link between consumption of only 500 milligrams of vitamin C per day and a greater propensity toward thickening of the arteries. So, you know, there's... There's something out there that you can find out about vitamin C. So even more recently, athletes were taking 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C per day, and they showed reduced endurance capacity from interference with antioxidant enzymes. And that was from the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition in uh, January 2008. So instead of getting extra vitamin C through ascorbic acid, the article recommends non-ascorbic acid vitamin C supplements. And there are many types available on the market. And you see some of them in this little video that uh, I took at a local health store. And um, you can see right on there, it says vitamin C as ascorbic acid. So you know if it's plant-based. If it just says vitamin C and then has a list of plants underneath it, then you know it came from a plant-based vitamin C. And it's a whole food type of vitamin C. And that's really what we're looking for. You know, so... Um, that's what I would recommend. That's uh, that's what we look for. It is more expensive, but that is because it costs more to manufacture and to produce, and it's worth a lot more. It actually helps you out. So, you know, um, you really want to 
look at these things and uh, I hope this helped you learn a little bit about vitamin C versus ascorbic acid because that's the stuff that's not that good for you. All right, you guys, take care. Have a great day and uh, try to have a, try to have some fun. All right. Ciao.